missed sheepdog tales. This morning, Jake is wagging his tail even more than usual because he's going to play a game with Mist. It's called Bite My Tail. Crumbs. The last time I played this was with Sir Gregory when I was a pup. Well, here's a recap of the rules. You have to bite my tail. Hokey dokey. Uh, and what's the leaf for? What leaf? Oh, don't worry. Ready then? Yep. Yeah. And go! <laughs> Ah, bite the tail, bite the tail. Ah, bite my tail. You'll never get it. You'll never get it. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, bite my tail. Jake whizzed and twirled, and try as she might, Miss couldn't grab hold of his tail. You can't bite my tail. I can. You're as slow as Gail. I'm not as slow as Mum. Yes, you are. Not. Ah, not. This is slow. Stop it. Like a mum. I'm not. It's the boss. Come on, you lot. Do all my work to do. Woohoo! Game over. The winner's Jake. Tell me old Miss eats too much cake. <laughs> I do not eat too much cake, Jake. I'll show you I can bite your tail. Got it! Oh! oh, that really hurt. Oh, no. Did I bite it too hard? Oh, is it still there? Has the end of my tail fallen off? Yeah, it's still there, but it's a bit droopy, though. Oh, boss! Mend my tail! Oh, 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 dear. I'll just give it a little lick. Oh, oh, boss, I do hope you'll be able to mend it. Gentle now. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, at least it can still wag. The boss tore a strip off his padded shirt. Luckily, it was not his favourite blue one, and tied it around Jake's tail. That's it, boss. Tie it nice and tight. Oh, not that tight. Oh, dear, better get you to the vets. Come on. Oh, crumbs. Not the vets. Oh, what if she chops off my tail, miss? Oh, don't worry, Jake. The vet's a lovely lady. I'm sure she'll... Um... Oh, uh... Well, oh, come on then, miss. Stop you get. Come on. I don't think I can, Jake. Strangely, Mist didn't feel like jumping today. Oh, dear, Mist. You really are turning into your mum. Oh, Jake, no, I'm not. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Oh, look, a couple of sheepdogs. <laughs> he looks nervous. All right, Ducky. All right. What are you in for, then? A sore throat. It's a big deal when your neck's this long. Uh, I'm in for me tail. Oh, and what about her? What's she in for? Oh, I'm just here to keep him company. Well, you look a bit rough if you ask me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Although, I have got a bit of a funny tummy. <coughs> Mist, look at his tail. His tail. Are they going to chop off my tail too? I'll look like a right nanner. Oh, Jake, eh? Oh, no, no, no. He looks nice on you. Mist and Jake. Oh, here we go, Mist. Say goodbye to my tail. Oh. Stop fussing, Jake. Oh, up I go. Uh, oh, oh, the table's cold. Oh, boss, don't let them chop it off, please. <laughs> To begin with, they untied the boss's bandage and made sure his tail wasn't broken. Hey, gentle. I'm all right, I'm brave. That's it. Oh, kind of tickles. <laughs> oh, hey. Thankfully, it wasn't. See, Jake, your tail's going to be fine. Next, they gave him a checkup. They looked for fleas in his ears. Oh, you'll find nothing in there, me love, no. They checked for thorns in his claws. Now steady, because I've got very ticklish feet. Oh! <laughs> they inspected his teeth. Now, if you think these are bad, you should see Ernie's, like a mouthful of acorns. And then they listened to his heartbeat. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh! Oh, it's cold! It's cold! Finally, they took his temperature. Now, I wonder where that's gonna go. Oh! <laughs> Are you okay, Jake? Everything's fine. And when they were sure all was well, they wrapped up his tail tightly in a special bright, stretchy bandage. Oh, look, mist. Green bandages. <laughs> and it's going around my tail. That's it. Round and round you go. Lovely. I look like one of those ponies at a Jim Carner. <laughs> it fits quite nice, actually. Right, your turn now, Mist. You still feeling funny? Little bit, Jake. But it's it's nothing. Just ate my breakfast too quickly. 
Oh, if you say so. Am I done? Lovely. Up we go. Um, Before he knew it, it was all over. The boss took Mist and Jake home. Cheerio! Over the following days, Mist was still not feeling herself and had taken to napping in the kennel. Meanwhile, Jake showed his luminous tail to everyone he met. Here, Swift! Look at this! Oh, what is it this time? It's my tail! <laughs> I've seen quite enough tails in my life, Jake, thank you. Not like mine, you haven't! Look at this! Look at that! Oh, 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 Jake, oh, Jake, 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 Another one. Hey! I love my bandage. Oh but as the bandage got dirtier and more wretched, the animals of Butter Farm began to avoid Jake. Whoa! Jake! That really ums! Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I had tripe for tea. What well, now? I mean, your filthy bandage. What do you mean, filthy? Oh, stop wagging! You're wafting it over! Ew. He tried to persuade his best friend, Mist, to play with him. Here, Mist, do you fancy a quick game of Bite My Bandage? Uh, oh, no thanks, Jake. I'm going for a nap after supper. Supper? You've only just had your tea. Mm. What do I fancy? Mm. Roast chicken and um, cake and some coal. Yeah, that should do for starters. Coal? She is acting strangely. Oh, oh well. And finally, the night came. Time to take my bandage off. Do da, do da. Time to. Oh, what the hell? Boss! Boss! <laughs> oh, yeah, it does onk a bit, doesn't it? The boss gently unwound the grisly cloth to reveal a completely mended tail. Oh, thanks, boss. Oh, I know. I'm going to show Mist. Oh, Mist! Mist! <laughs> oh, uh, oh you got to look at my tail. He took off the bandage, it was all smelly, and now it's better. Uh, and, um... Uh, Jake. Uh... <gasps> Where'd you get them from? <laughs> Jake, they're mine. Oh, so that's why you've been hungry. Can you get Mum for me? M Mum? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Um, Gail, OK, uh, I'm going. Um... Door's behind you, Jake. Behind me, <laughs> of course, puppies. <laughs> oh, it's okay now, little ones. It's all right, you're safe here with me. You'll have to get used to Uncle Jake. He's very noisy. The puppies were only a few hours old. And so, like her mother before her, and like every ewe and lamb she had seen throughout her sheepdog life, Mist set straight to work. Licking and cleaning her litter of puppies. Let's have a look at your paws. And the other one. That's it. Oh, sorry. Does that tickle? <laughs> Gently does it. Gently. Mist! Mist! <laughs> oh, I bought your mum. Oh, good girl, Mist. And Swift, too. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. And Ernie. All right. Oh, and uh, Fern. Oh, this better not be a joke, Mist. It's no joke, Fern. You're a great auntie now. Now then, how many are there? One, two, three. And have you given them names yet? Well, I think the blackest one should be called Jet. And what about the whitest one? <gasps> oh, he looks just like me. Here, call him Jake. Oh, no. There's only one Jake, Jake. And she's a girl. How about Jackie? All right, Jake. Jackie she is. Ah, uh, and that leaves the little boy there. Oh, he's a bold little fella, isn't he? What do you think, Mist? I think we all know what he should be called. Bandage. No, Jake, not bandage. I'm going to call him Gregory. Ah, your grandfather would be proud of you, Mist. Oh, I haven't forgotten you. Good boy, Greg. And so, a new generation of sheepdogs began their life on Barra Farm. <laughs>